Oh no, it's that loon from Toon again. Hey, Mon, that complete doylem from Newcastle is back again. Yeah, that idiot who was fined for abusing councillors, that idiot who used to publish videos on his brother's channel and got it taken down, has started another channel. Yes, it's that old chuff, Mark Steele, the guy who thinks that LED streetlights are weapon systems. A great bunch of people who are weapons in the fight against stupidity are my lovely patrons. Massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons Loretta Carroll, Flint, Steve Ireson, Tati Bogle, Watto, Elizabeth Sagan, and my latest patrons Michael Burnham and Brian Ramsey. Thank you all so very much. We join Mark at a council meeting. Sorry the sound is a bit poor. Roll VT. Public consultation have been carried out in relation to the 31,859 experimental telecoms transceivers. You're waffling a bit, Mark. Get on with it. Positioned adjacent to people's bedrooms and living spaces with some installations within that wide safe working distance to the humans you saw the photograph before. I don't think I'm the only one who's getting fed up waiting for you to get to the point. Mr. The executive Steve, please officers. Please answer the question. I've the supplementary, question. the supplementary question is... At last, your incisive supplementary question. On behalf of all those in the borough who are suffering unexplained, non-thermal induced mental health issues, as a consequence, including economic hardship, especially on vulnerable groups, they include electromagnetic sensitive persons, women, children, the unborn and disabled with metal implants that act as an antenna increasing the hazard, confirmed that this experimental 5G telecoms rollout is not the class one carcinogen. Well, let me help you out there, Mark. It isn't. Oh, you've got more to say. A class one e cancer. Thank you, Mr. Steele. I think we've got the, the, got the supplementary issue. question there. Yes, thank you, Mr. Steele. Shut up and sit down. Well, Mark, have you been out to actually look at these lights? A bit like gated council fit and equipment that don't even know what it is. I've got a feeling that it's you that doesn't know what it is. Like a bit of spying on behalf of the Chinese. So you're saying that Gateshead Council is installing streetlights to spy on people on behalf of the Chinese? Underneath the light sensor, you see? It's not a light sensor, by the way, it's a scanner, it's a radar scanner. No, Mark. It's a passive infrared detector, like you have on one of those courtesy security lamps outside your home. It's spying people on behalf of you know who. Do you know where this equipment comes from? Exactly. Right. At our side, T, local plod, spying on behalf of the Chinese. I'm wondering, what on earth would the Chinese gain by spying on people walking up and down the road? The hunter becomes the hunted, because believe us, these are all part of a weapons deployment, right? Outside the street, outside your bedroom windows, care of your tax. So I'm paying tax for the council to put up streetlights so that the Chinese can see what Mrs. Sensible and I get up to in the bedroom. Ooh, I can see a whole new career opening up for me. All right, see this one's had a little bit of bother. I presume that's caused by idiots who are watching your previous channel. Urban radar scanners, all part of a 5G deployment, smart city, IUT, spying, killing. You've claimed that these are weapon systems and in other videos that they cause cancer, leukaemia, tinnitus. Why? Why on earth would the council want to put up weapons to kill the citizens of their town and if you were going to do that wouldn't it be easier just to dump something toxic into the water supply or just go around and shoot everyone that's a Talenza unit 
it's a directional antenna radar directional antenna radar right you see it right scanning into these rooms you've got about as much idea of what those are as a tea leaf has of the history of the east india company thanks douglas have you actually looked at one i mean an absolute fortune of a piece of kit just to switch a light on and off because that's what some complete clown complete tearty thinks it is oh you have but you still got no idea what it is there is a thing called smart street lighting this is where the lights can talk to each other with a passive infrared detectors they can detect people walking along cyclists cars and they can alert other street lights so that they brighten when they're no longer needed they'll dim again saving electric gateshead council expect to save 50 to 70 percent in electric costs on their street lighting so that's intelligent street light systems how intelligent are you mark thick thick as bricks thick as mints dumb as a box of rocks well far bit from me to disagree with you mark and harassing councillors certainly doesn't sound too bright. From gateshead.gov.uk, Gateshead Council successfully obtained an injunction against resident Mark Steele of Percy Gardens, Gateshead, who has been harassing, intimidating and threatening staff and councillors. Hmm. So just why is it that you do this, Mark? Well, I'm very passionate about this. I've got near about bleed from the nose at night from this telecom business. Secretly rolled out 5G. Somebody needs to go to prison. What, again, Mark? From the Evening Chronicle, August 1994. The gunman who crippled teenager Nicola Lumsden for life has lost an appeal against his eight-year jail sentence. Newcastle pub bouncer Mark Steele, 33, of Percy Gardens was found guilty in February of shooting the teenager. She was left on a life support machine when Steele fired at a group of men outside the Redskins pub in Washington. The bullet hit Nicola, 19, in the head. Nicola's aunt said, Steele is a rat and should have got longer. He has ruined Nicola's life. We're all pleased to see he has lost his appeal. Steele was convicted of malicious wounding and possessing a firearm with intent at Newcastle Crown Court. At the appeal court, Mrs Justice Steele said, As a result of his actions, an innocent girl has suffered severe physical and mental impairment. But then perhaps that's another Mark Steele, who also happens to live at Percy Gardens Gateshead. Go on, get out. There's a crime against humanity. As opposed to crimes against 19 year old girls until next time stay sensible shut up and sit down